Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. For today's recipe, we're making a tasty green enchilada sauce made with hatch chilies. We're gonna start off by lining a cookie sheet with aluminum foil. And I do recommend you line it with aluminum foil because your cookie sheet might get a little bit charred. We're gonna add about eight to 10 hatch chilies. We're gonna broil them in the oven for about 20 minutes, turning them over once during the process. After 20 minutes, they should look like this. Remove them from the oven and let them cool down. For the chicken filling, we're gonna be using chicken. I boiled six chicken thighs with cilantro, onion, garlic, and salt. Remove the chicken thighs from the broth and let them cool down before you begin to shred it. Save a little bit of the broth because we will be using it later. For the enchilada sauce, we're gonna mince half a medium-sized onion. I'm using a white onion, but you can also use a yellow onion. Mince three garlic cloves and transfer the onion and the garlic to a separate container and set it aside. Mince the fourth of an onion and transfer that one to a separate container and set that one aside as well. Once your peppers are cool enough to handle, remove the stems, the peel, and the seeds and the vines from each one. If you have sensitive hands, I do recommend you use gloves or use a small knife to scrape off the seeds. Hatch peppers are spicy, so if you have sensitive hands, I highly recommend you use gloves. Once we're done cleaning the peppers, we're going to take them over to the cutting board and dice them into small pieces like these. Transfer them to a bowl or container and set them aside. Add the fourth of an onion that we minced earlier to the shredded chicken. Give it a good mix and set it aside. Place a medium saucepan over medium to high heat, add a couple tablespoons of vegetable or olive oil, add the minced onion and the garlic and saute for a good 2-3 to three minutes or until it's nice and fragrant. Add your hatched chilies and mix until it's well combined with the onion and the garlic. Add half a teaspoon of cumin, mix that in and add 2 cups of the chicken broth that we set aside. A fourth of a cup of heavy cream and using an immersion blender blend until it's the consistency that you prefer. Once it reaches the consistency that you prefer, simmer on medium heat for 10 minutes. At this point, you can also taste it to see if it needs additional seasoning, and if it does, you can add a little bit of chicken bouillon. Add a couple spoonfuls of the enchilada sauce to the chicken and mix it in. Heat up two to three tablespoons of vegetable oil in a medium pan. Lightly fry your tortillas on both sides for a few seconds. You don't want to over fry them, you want them to be nice and pliable so they can fold easily. One of the questions I get asked quite a bit is to why I fry the tortillas. Frying your tortillas first keeps them from becoming soggy and falling apart once you add the sauce. Before we begin to roll out our enchiladas, we're going to add a few spoonfuls of the sauce to the bottom of the baking dish. Line the entire bottom of the baking dish so all sides are covered with the sauce. Roll your tortillas with the chicken mixture and place them in the baking dish. Once you fill the baking dish, pour more of the sauce over the enchiladas. Add as little or as much as you want. And we're going to top them off with Monterey Jack cheese, but you can use any other type of melting cheese that you prefer. For toppings, I'm going to use a little bit of fresh cilantro, then I'm going to transfer them to the oven for about 10 minutes or until the cheese is nice and melted. Once they're out of the oven, you can add more of your favorite toppings. May I suggest a little bit of red onion and thinly sliced radishes to give it that extra color. And enjoy with your favorite side dishes. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and would like to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell so you can receive notifications each time I upload a new video. And if you're already a subscriber, Thank you so much and I'll see you in our next video.